In this video, we're gonna talk about heat pump water heaters, not just heat pump water heaters, also hybrid electric water heaters, one and the same thing. And I have a special guest in here today to help me talk about it. We're gonna talk about a heat pump water heater, an electric hybrid water heater that's gonna save you thousands of dollars over the course of time, and it's gonna end up paying you to install it. So as you see, I have a special guest with me. This is James Wickersham from Pepco Sales and Marketing. Welcome, hey, brother. Hey, glad to be here. It's an honor to be here with you, sir. Now, the reason we're doing this, well, this video is sponsored by Ferguson, and we teamed up with Ferguson because of the connections that they help us make, but also everything they do for plumbers and the communities that we're in. So, man, look, I've had you in before, so this is great. Yes, sir. Getting to talk about new things is exciting because here in Texas, we don't install a lot of heat pump water heaters. That's correct, sir. What's the main reason for that? What do you think? I do believe it's part of uh, lack of knowledge. And we're here today to hopefully give you some more knowledge. The fact that after reading through everything to figure this out, if you've got an electric water heater, this would actually be a great way to make your water heater pay you. Absolutely, that is correct. With uh, some of the high efficiency that we can we can run out there, it's, uh, it'll actually pay for itself. And, about like two, two years, two and a half years. Let's step over here to the heat pump water heater and show people how easy it is to connect up to it compared to a normal water heater. Let's do it. All right. So like we talked about, you've got your normal hot and cold inlet. You have the actual heat pump up here, electronic controls, and it's also connectable to your iPhone. What a way to control your water heater. Now, James, we got the power supply over here. We didn't talk about the anti-leak device that's built into this. Uh, the uh, anode rod in this unit right here, when it starts depleting, what will send a notice to uh, the homeowner on your phone or on this right here. And it'll warn you, hey, your anode rod needs to be changed. Your anode rod, rod needs to be changed. So eventually when that happens and it goes to leaking, uh, if, it, if you don't change it, it'll send you an alert to leak. You can buy an sh automatic shutoff that goes along with, with this accessory to shut the water heater off. All you can do by your phone. And I like this, you've got your hot and cold up here. You've also got them here on the side. If you wanna put your cold water in the bottom, hot right here, yes, that's where you hook them up. Yes, Normal TMP valve, like we said, like we mentioned, condensate line. You have a power button or power cord over here yes, to hook up your condensation pump and your normal power supply here. Now, that's the only thing that's different about this. Your power supply is on the side instead of the top because this is where your heat pump is. Right. But this is a very simple installation. It would be really easy to pull out a water heater, an electric water heater, put this in, and then maybe just have to run a condensation pump. Before we couldn't we couldn't get to the very, like in the, in the corner. Now we can get to the corner with some of the new designs. I like this. So we're gonna talk about a few things about them today, but hang around to the end and I'm gonna tell you the things that you need to know that if you have an electric water heater, you may wanna talk to your plumber about one of these next time. And if you're a plumber, it can save them a fortune. So, so James, one of the things that I hear is that heat pump water heaters, they, they don't recover fast enough. But when I'm reading through this, I don't think people are right. They may not have the right water heater. That is correct. And uh, we got to always remember this has backup elements. So whenever it's not running in heat pump mode, it has backup elements. It will help that recovery time tremendously. And you say when it's not running in heat pump mode, but even when it's cold outside, there's still heat in the air. Absolutely there is. And the heat pump actually draws that heat in, uses it to heat the water. Absolutely. And then if you've got it set where it can use the heating elements also, man, it's just like a regular water heater, but you've got other things heating it before the electricity is ever called for. Yeah, and that, that relieves the fear of uh, not being getting your customer a lot hot water on high demand. On the weekends, uh, when you got guests over, you can, the backup elements will kick on, that way you have plenty of hot water for all your guests. And that, that's fantastic, because that's what we're all looking for. And in the summertime, think about this. It not only pulls the heat out of your garage, it also helps cool your garage down by taking that cold air and putting it back into your garage. So this is gonna work to do really good things for you. I know I wish my garage had an AC in it sometimes. What a great way to help cool that down and pull the heat out of the air and put it to your use. Absolutely. Now, what I hear from plumbers too is their customers are like, look, I just want you to change it out with exactly what was there. Now, I don't necessarily believe that. I think that's plumbers saying it's a lot easier for me to just change it out with what's there. 
But if I walked into somebody's house knowing what I know now and did not offer them a heat pump water heater, I'd be like, I'm doing my customers wrong because this is a way the water heater can pay for itself. Do you ever hear that from customers or your vendors saying, look, we just want, we're taking out a 50 gallon electric, we wanna put in a 50 gallon electric. I'm looking at a 66 that'll pay for itself. Ab absolutely, and then with education, we can help the plumbers learn to uh, give them options and feel comfortable with the install here to offer more savings for their customers. And if you look at it, I mean, sitting here looking at it, you've got your water connections on the top. They could also be done on the side. You've got a TMP valve. You've got electricity. Right now you're looking at everything that an electric water heater has. The only big difference is there's a condensation line here. Yes, sir. And if you don't have a drain in your garage, which is probably the best place to install this. Right. But now you just hook up a pump and pump it to the drain line. Yes, sir. And it has a wire on the side there that shows where you can hook that up. Not a problem. Yeah, it's got a wire built in. So if you do install a condensation pump, you wire it directly to the water heater and that takes care of everything. Yes, sir. So James, my thought is if I'm a plumber walking in a house yes, sir. and look, there's a lot of different levels of cars out there. Yes, sir. You can buy one down here. You can buy one way up here. Yes, sir. But the thing is, people love options. Yes, sir. We love to buy. We just hate to be sold to. So my thought is if a plumber walks in and there's electric water heater there, you can look up and find out exactly what the rebates are in your area. Yes, sir. This hybrid water heater can actually save up to $521 a year. Yes, sir. A 10 year warranty on it. That's correct, sir. That's $5,200. Tell me that water heater is not gonna pay for itself on top. Why don't plumbers offer that every time they walk in? You know, I, I wish I knew, but with education, hopefully we can get them to do that. Well, I love this because of course we teach good, better, and best. Yes, sir. Here's what we can do to fix this problem. Yes, Here's what we can do to make your system the way it was when you installed it. Yes, or here's what we can do to give you the latest, greatest updated system there is, like they should be putting in every new house built. And that is what we should be doing for each and every one of our customers. Yeah, absolutely. If the, if the homeowner doesn't know that it exists, they dang sure won't buy it. We gotta make sure we're telling the homeowners that this does exist so we can get these out in the market. And I agree with what you say there because People say homeowners won't pay extra, but to be honest, in this particular case, they're not gonna pay extra. They're actually gonna be getting money back. If you could save $500 a year on your electric bill for 10 years, that's $5,000. If you put in that normal electric water heater, there's nothing coming back there. No, sir, nothing at all. Dollar in, dollar out. And there's a formula that you showed me the other day. On this one here, yeah. it's a dollar in. How many dollars out? $4.02. So for every dollar you spend, you get $4 worth of energy. Wouldn't you want to do that? Absolutely. I would. Whether you're a homeowner or a plumber, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Did you even know there's heat pump water heaters? Have you installed heat pump water heaters? And if you have, how much do you love them? So guys, here's the deal. No matter where you live, and I'll tell you what, I want to start pushing these in Texas because look, I'm a lead AP, leadership in energy and environmental design. This is the kind of things we're looking for to build a more sustainable world, to have a better carbon footprint. This is gonna save you money if you're a homeowner. This is gonna improve your sales if you're a plumber. You are going above and beyond to help your customers. If you're not in the Ferguson Facebook group, jump in there and join the conversation and see what all's going on. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades.